Hey there, folks. Getting to live out a Neptunian dream here. Truly Neptunian dream. As you know, Neptune has had quite a few things to say to me over the last few months, giving me all sorts of hell and high water and trouble. <laughs> However, he has come through. Here I am. This is my little fantasy here. I've always, now one day, the dream will be to maybe own somewhere like this myself. This is not my place. I'm trying to remember the name of it. Oh gosh, how terrible I'll have to, I'll have to add that in on the comments, but I'm in this beautiful villa in um, Piedmonte, Piedmonte et, et, et Neo, yeah, because Mount Etna's over there, so this is in Sicily. Those of you who've seen my uh, Vedic quickies would have already seen a sample of this. And here I'm just gonna show you the view this incredible view goes out over to the sea and we're up on this hill yeah <coughs> surrounded by mature gardens and stuff like that and this literally honestly this is one of my fantasies my dream and my dream one day is to own somewhere like this maybe in Italy or somewhere else this wasn't even my own making, I've, uh, except this pasta here. I'll show you here, look, this pasta. You can see that, I just, I just made that simple pasta with uh, tomato and tuna. This here is actually an iced tea, actually. There's my headphones. These seats here, uh, they were filled with water. There they are, I just tipped them off because it rained, you can see. There's a dining area over there. So it's not been great weather today, but it's been perfect to uh, relax. Now, look, I'm not having this whole place to myself. I'm sharing this with others. There's a group of us, about uh, 15, 15 of us, who were, we were together on the nomadic uh, cruise thing, and then there was this house, house things afterwards. So don't think I'm here being able to afford all of this on my own. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. And this is, a, uh, this is a sort of like a family. It's owned by uh, this family that... Their names escape me right now, but brother and sister looking after the family estate. And, but it's such a privilege and it was completely unexpected. And it, it wasn't, uh, I just went along, I just went along, joined here with my friends and it's become this extraordinary adventure. But this is the part of a realization of a dream, <laughs> pardon me, that I've had since I was a little boy. The little prince in me is like, I've always wanted a house on a hill overlooking with like lovely gardens and stuff like that and it's happened so this is definitely up there this is a neptunian uh fantasy yeah this is a neptunian fantasy anyway just adding that bit of spiel there and then i'll try and turn this into a a proper video of the experiences and stuff like that but i just thought i would share that for now all right i'll leave it there folks <laughs> <laughs> it's like performance art, guys. You see these talented people I'm hanging out with? So cool. <laughs> fantastic staircase here that I'm sharing with these uh, hippies basically look there's a table tennis room in here and look these wonderful little uh, little uh, puppets some of the this is a historical family home now you hear oops oh gosh walking down the stairs you will hear some noise and kerfuffle coming from the kitchen. So I live with these very animated people here. <laughs> just a bit of noise that way, just a bit of noise that way. This is where the outside place is. Look, there's a little chapel here. I'll just show you the little kitchen. Look, here's us drying clothes. This is all like the place where we're all eating together. 
It's like proper hippie stuff, proper hippie stuff. I'm not gonna film them, of course, directly, because one would need permission for that, but that gives you the energy. And then now the sun's out. Now look at this. Uh, and I really do mean it. Like this is like one of my dreams, my fantasies come true. So I'm thanking Neptune for this. You see, this is the house overlooking. That's the sea over there. And the sun rises there somewhere. This is, so this area here is uh, Piedmonte Etneo. Yeah. Because it's near Mount Mount Etna. Because some people will be like, Piedmont is in the is in the north of Italy. It is this is the house, and it's got this terrace up here. But there's another terrace up there, and it is my dream, my dream, my dream, my dream, my dream, my dream, to have one day a place like this. It could be in Italy or. I, ideally Italy would be would be perfect but you see it's on these grounds and my fantasy is to have an astrology school can you imagine an astrology school located in somewhere like this I hear there's noise in there that's where everyone's in there you can hear the noise um, seating area and stuff like that so for me I would love in many ways, this place is perfect. Obviously, it's owned by the family. So it's not like I can take it or afford to buy it yet or whatever. We'll see how my projects go. But because this place so fits... Here we are. Look, this is the, the back side here. Because this place so fits uh, my dream and fantasy of what I would love to have... I thought I would share it with you guys. Now, look, I know not everyone gets to travel and stuff, particularly as well. It's a long way to come from, from the United States. And I get that. But this place is so close to what I imagined that I just thought I have to share it. Because genuinely, I would love one day to have a space like this, completely self-sustaining, you know, with... Um, solar panels recycling water um pardon me um i would love it to have greenhouses where it can grow organic fruits vegetables locally sourced meats etc completely self-sustaining so something like this so here you can see the house from here isn't it just incredible the the villa i forget the name of the villa i have to write it in the um in the description and it would be a place, it would be like a healing retreat um, as well, but it would be also an astrology school as well. So this is sort of like, like being here is almost a bit spooky because it is so close to something that I've wanted for a long time. So it, it shows me, it confirms to me that these ideas that I've been having are possible, that they're not just fantasies, and that they can actually come true. Wow, look at this. I mean, look, there's even more. This is my first time um, exploring this outer area here. There's even more. So there's a seating area here, it seems. There's this kind of gazebo. Oh, look, it looks like this is a barbecue area. This is the first time I'm seeing this, folks. Looks like there's a barbecue area here. Oh, look, incredible, look sinks and everything oh my god look they've even got like that's like a pizza oven there's the grills for this that and the other maybe i'll mention this to the others afterwards otherwise we'll be out here barbecuing before you know it. it'd be even more messed to clear up but seating area here so imagine what i imagine for myself at some point in the future I'd have something like this and it would be international uh, all of my uh, clients could come and uh, visit me um, and anyone else that wants to come and would do healing work astrological work tarot work maybe even some human design you know stuff like that um, and it will be this one-stop shop where people can come for diet health healing energy work um, 
all of this stuff, even stuff I think as well for pets as well, particularly as well with what's happened with Lady G recently, sadly losing her pets. Um, because of course animals need energy work as well. I'm kind of rambling on a bit. Oh, I have the grey in my beard. Oh, anyway, whatever. Uh, when I get back home, that will be fixed. <laughs> <coughs> so they've got a giant thingy bob here. I've got a slight, I'm at the back end of a slight cold because um, we were all on this ship and of course it was um, lots and lots of people and we had a temperature change getting here as well but you can see look it's all on these levels it's just extraordinary I mean look at these trees here I hope you can see that the different heights so imagine this but in, in a kind of like a healing uh, capacity and there'll be very kind of very specific treatments as well. I'd like the first time I'm actually sharing this, I'd love to have aqua treatments, crystal uh, treatments, uh, the combination of, you know, like I was saying, human design, but with Vedic astrology, um, all these uh, different things, techniques combined for people, you know, and their pets and stuff. Like I said, everything. Look at this whole covered area here, another seating area. Um, all of these things. So this space here is revealing to me sort of like this big vision that I had years ago when Mars gave me this big vision of like something like this. So I have to see how the rest of it manifests. Obviously going forward in the future. Look, there's rose gardens up here. You see through here there's more. It's like... But then you've got all of these trees. Do you see how incredible this place is? It's absolutely amazing. So one day, I'll have somewhere like this, hopefully to call my own. And let's see what else is up here. Um, and this place, I didn't find it myself. This was uh, with this from this new group of people that I'm staying with. Which always goes to show, you know, blessings can come from many directions. Kind of like how um, something Caroline Mace would talk about, saying that, look, the blessings in our life usually come from other people. Without us putting in that conscious effort, that's why we should always try and be a source of blessing for others as well. Because we can be rewarded in the most unusual ways because of the size of these cacti. You'll notice as well that my um, eyes have cleared up. Being here, I mean, look, I'm out here without my glasses. I'm not saying it's perfect, perfect, but it's very good. So the I've realised how important exercise, sunshine, um, trying to get a bit more um, out of my flat, um, not staying so much... Um, reading emails at night and stuff or re responding to comments at night because obviously m m uh, you're from all over the world but most of you are based in America so it's very tempting for me to respond um, in real time but I'm realizing I have to change that up now and I can only re really respond in daylight hours so my eyes are getting the light and my goodness they've improved so much I've hardly needed my glasses. Um, let's see what's going on through here. So, you know, this, this is all part of the balancing act. If you see here, literally, look, there's like fruit just here on the trees. Not always the most tasty, but it's there. I'm coming through, I'm taking you through this adventure so you can see just how extraordinary this place is. That's the higher up part. I don't want to go too high because I'm not sure where everything is, but there's this big cacti bush here. So let's take a look at that. So I find that interesting. And at the ground here, natural leaves, the scent of all of that. Look at these cacti. So I just wanted to share that aspect because as you know I also as well remember the book of power project that I've got I'm halfway through the astrology book of course can you imagine I've barely been able to touch the writing here I mean these these guys are real hedonists 
Let me just say that. That's all I'm saying. These guys are real hedonists and tremendous fun. Um, so there's a lot of interaction, a lot of learning, made a lot of new friends as well, some incredibly talented people. But when I get back to the UK, which I plan to do on the 8th of June, so not long now, carry on with the book, finish the first draft of that book, get that out to you guys for those that want to be proofreaders and stuff like that. And so I can get feedback on that, get things edited and whatever, and then see where to take it to the next level, whether or not it's going to be um, go to a formal publisher or self-publish. Not sure uh, which yet. Um, obviously, the more people that express interest in the book, the more the more it's likely that I would be able to get a, um, maybe a traditional pub publisher or a hybrid uh, for the book. But I've put all the juicy details in that book now and now it's about um i'm talking about planet mars so we did sun moon mother father their cooking styles or how they give advice and wisdom and stuff like that venus um, and mercury i've done after this it will be jupiter and saturn and then i'll look at the outer planets nodes of the moon so i think maybe another couple of months the book will be ready assuming that i you know just keep working hard and because uh, obviously there are these breaks um, and see um, how it goes from there. But I'm starting to see everything come together. I'm starting to see how the planets are bringing these these blessings, particularly Neptune. That was it was quite tricky, as you know, in the earlier part of the year. But my goodness, what 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 a, a reward and mercury and neptune have been letting me know very clearly that they are part of the agents uh, of this so let's see that's the first time i've sort of shared that bit of the vision um and we'll see how things progress uh and also as well fundraising as well i need to start doing for like the book of power which many of you will have seen that my gold and jewel spangled extravaganza pop-up book um so we'll have to see how that goes but i just wanted to show you this so you can see how um things can work how the planets can bring their challenges but also their blessings as well and i feel very very blessed this is very very much a blessing and of course i appreciate all of you guys support which of course in you know and my clients that come to me as well that really helps these things but i just wanted to share how i want to take things to that ultimate level where i will have something like this but a self-sustaining retreat healing like i said astrology crystal work energy work tarot work um human design work um all of that kind of stuff not only for animals but also pets as well and that's my hope one day you know especially if the book does well and the book of power does well then maybe i'll be able to buy somewhere like this and create my own kind of healing and astrology school uh, as well and that's the first time that i've shared that with everyone so i hope you find that interesting let me know in the comments this hey there folks the video got cut off a little bit oh my god i look so exhausted i'm just looking at myself back in the video i feel like i've aged years um since because it's been like a sleep different places don't have my usual superfood powders and this that and the other but um anyway get, get getting back home soon uh the video kind of cut off a little bit so i just wanted to continue oh where's, where's better okay i just wanted to continue with what i was saying so this is the whole idea with the book you know retreats uh having a retreat everything all together sorry if things are a little bit choppy or a bit back to front or not as smooth as usual because obviously i'm not in my usual home and also as well i'm uh, with a lot of other and new people and it's not it's not so easy to be um find that usual kind of calm and that usual kind of level but it has been very good uh, for me to kind of get out and about and active and um, it's been good for the eyesight and stuff like that. Anyway, I don't want to ramble on too much. So this will, uh, let's just end up, end up, end sort of like the video here. Forgive too as well. Um, you'll notice I was just looking at the playback. Sometimes my thing was cut off because I was using my other camera and I couldn't actually quite, quite see myself. Whereas now I'm using my little front camera. But it's not, pardon me, it's not as good quality of 
of film with that one but at least now it's centered in it and you can see so you know just you know forgive i'm not at home don't have the usual kind of like setup and stuff like that but i hope that was a good idea for the vision so let's see once the book is written uh and edited you know gone through the beta reading process let's see let's see it can either be self-published or maybe i can actually find a traditional publisher i'm sure if many of you uh, express an interest in seeing that then that's something maybe i could approach a publisher with and see uh how that works and um but very much this uh, with the dasher secrets that i'm in mercury dasher right now his placements as my third house and my 12th house lord lots of travel foreign lands new friends new people etc and then Neptune really starting to give um, some real big blessings and, and rewards and stuff for a lot of hard work. And uh, so we'll see. Let's see where it goes to the next level. But I would love to have something like this as a retreat for everyone where they can come for their healing. Like I said, people and animals, Vedic astrology, school, human design, tarot, energy work, crystal work, all of that stuff. Because that's something... That we all need right now isn't it the whole world needs a lot of healing so uh i will leave it there maybe i'll do some photo montage let's just see how this edit comes together and uh hopefully get this up tonight for all of you guys and um take it from there but yeah i thought i'd share this little this little trip with you all right i'll leave it there for now folks and of course don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content thanks so much mm -hmm.